Well, happening tonight, the Howard Franklin Bridge southbound lanes will be shut down. That closure begins at midnight. It's scheduled to last until 5 in the morning. If you need to get over to Pinellas County, you can use the Courtney Campbell Causeway or the Gandy Bridge. Eight on your size, Beth Rousseau is at the Howard Franklin. And uh, Beth, you went behind the scenes and got to look at some of the work being done on the new bridge. I did and it was actually really cool. Of course, the closure of the southbound lanes of the Howard Franklin Bridge tonight is because they're doing work on the new structure. If you've been over the bridge recently or within the past couple of years, you really can't miss all of this equipment. It's pretty eye catching the columns, the piles, the barges, the cranes. Now that the sun's coming up, especially you can get a good look at it. FDOT leaders say they're more than halfway through with this project. Work on the new lanes of the Howard Franklin Bridge is at its peak. This project in its size and scope, is, it's just a lot of it, a lot of work. Conrad Campbell with the Florida Department of Transportation gave me a closer look at the work currently underway. He says the project is more than halfway complete. It's a big project, over 800 million. And so what you see out here today is um, a lot of the, the majority of the substructure or the pile work is done. And so they're starting to get up to where they're building the superstructure or what you see out here, the columns and then the bridge deck. Campbell tells me 200 workers are on the job. He says they're on schedule, but some challenges could impede the progress. As you see, this bridge is a bridge that's built in a marine environment. So when we get these storms and uh, fronts that come through or hurricanes, it's uh, the rough weather inhibits the, the work that's on the water. When the uh, waves are high, when there's a lot of rain or lightning, that, that slows us down. And so it is a weather dependent work site. And so anytime we talk about the new lanes of the Howard Franklin Bridge, we always get questions about the equipment that they use. So I've got some numbers for you. Those piles that you see sticking out of the ground, there are 3,000 of them involved in this project. If you lay them end to end, they stretch 50 miles, FDOT leaders tell me. That's all the way from here to Bartow. As far as cranes, there are 25 to 30 of those that are involved in this project, and 80 barges support those cranes. They're hoping to have this new bridge done by 2025. In order to make that happen, they do have to do periodic lane closures of the southbound lanes of 275. That's what's going to be happening tonight from midnight to 5 a.m. We're live on the Howard Franklin Bridge this morning. Beth Russo, 8 on your side.